Greeting folks, uh, Willie here. Just uh, first winter trip of the year. Got the old Tacoma out and the hiker and we're camping south of the great big landfill. So I think you know where that is here in Arizona because uh, the way things are going, I'm sure that's probably someday and when we're all dead and gone, nobody used for that. But anyhow, winter camping, first trip out with the uh, the old hiker. Um, you've seen them online. I'm sure you know what they look like. Um, and also, I got myself, well, I tried to get myself for Christmas. I ordered a new solo stove, the Ranger model, before Thanksgiving, and I got it New Year's Eve. So you can figure that one out. But anyway, um, let's take a look around and show you. So here we go. I unboxed it threw wood in it, set it on fire, and it's burning good. So that's my review of the uh, solo stove. Seems to be going well. Um, hopefully uh, get a few uses out of it and see. I do. I also have the uh, the ring underneath it so it doesn't damage the ground and stuff like that. Got to be eco-friendly here since the world is, uh, I don't know, everything has to be PC correct, I guess. And the wood I used tonight was dead wood laying on the ground. It's pretty crappy, but I'm hoping it'll burn. And... Uh, Let's take a look around real quick and I can show you what uh, what the, my background looks like. Oh, white stuff on the ground. Anyway, uh, temperatures tonight, uh, 10 degrees, supposedly. Well, I'll let you know in the morning if it changes. Um, for dinner tonight, I uh, like a uh, oh, uh, 20 minute video on uh, overlanding where uh, 18 minutes is uh, cooking food and watch them eat it. So anyway, um, not heading there. I had some uh, macaroni salad and hot chocolate still warm in the cup. And there's the back of the hiker, some gear in it. My enormous piles of wood. Let's move on. For you, there's my Hiker painting I did a couple weeks, a couple months ago actually. Hiker set up tonight. Back of the old Tacoma's open. Gonna put stuff away here. The sun's fading fast. You can tell by the lights changing. Um, here's a little look around me. Whoops. So anyway, kind of an overlanding test gear for myself for me and the Tacoma and the hiker and the solo stove. And also I got one of those new uh, Korean made Kovia heaters that I'm gonna try out tonight instead of the uh, Mr. Heater Buddy. Um, this one came directly uh, from Korea. So there's no English on it at all. Um, you just have to kind of figure it out. But anyway, oh, and for those of you who noticed on the back of my extreme off-road, um, I did put a shelf on the back of it. And I do boil water back there. I don't cook food. I don't like food odors in my uh, camper, especially if I go to bear country. But I guess that's what uh, gunpowder is for, right? Anyway, um, hope you uh, find this all entertaining and... Like I say, this is part one of series one of one total uh, video of my overlanding, backcountry, boondocking, car camping, stealth camping, whatever you want to call it, camping they call it now. Um, I don't know what, the, you know, I started doing that when I was 16 years old. I'll be, I'm going to be 58, so I've been doing it a while, I guess. But anyhow, it's the cra latest craze. But... I enjoy it. I hope you do too. And I hope that um, you're staying healthy and safe and away from each other and wear your mask because uh, I hate to tell you this, but uh, COVID is still kind of real. It's still killing people and uh, wear your mask. Don't be a jackass. But anyhow, hope to see you maybe see you again someday out on the trail. Take care and good luck.
Hey folks, Willie here again with uh, part two of that part one series of a total of one videos. I added another one to it just to, I don't know, make somebody crazy, I guess. Anyway, um, morning update here. We camped all night here with the old Tacoma here south of the big old landfill. And uh, we'll give you a, oh, it's a little dark here in the shadows. Let's get out in the sun here where it's warm. There we are. So anyway, how'd the solo stove do? Well, the solo stove did very well. Exceptionally pleased with uh, how well it burned and everything like that, but the drawback that everybody else is talking about is true. Um, the heat goes straight up. So if you're trying to warm your feet or something like that, you're better off just building a fire on the ground or something like that. It was very, very, uh, Nice to have a nice big fire going. I did some video of it and I'll post some of it. It's pretty cool, it burned well. No ash, um, just a very small pile to dump out and I buried that this morning. So uh, leave no trace. And also, um, I wanna give a shout out to a good friend of mine, I haven't talked to in a long time, of some gear that I'm using here today. I'm uh, sipping from my Red Rocks Rendezvous insulated mug that I got from Paul Fish. Hey Paul, if you ever see this, um, congrats to you. Happy early retirement. I know that uh, the economy is not the best for the kind of business you were in. I'd also remind to thank you for, um, can't see it in dark here, but the jet boil. I believe I was one of the first, I think beta testers or something like that, through the jet boil company with, in conjunction of Mountain Gear. Um, I heard you some saying because the uh, lid cracked last or er, last night a little bit because it was so cold. Um, got down to 12 degrees this morning on the outside. Uh, the old hiker, which you can see behind me, uh, the temp inside this morning was 22. So yes, for all you hiker people out there, lots of condensation, lots of ice blah 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 you're always going to have that um you know i don't know what to tell you there's no fixing that because you breathe at night um, there's a thing called insensible loss google that and you understand what it is the average person uh, exhales about a liter a day and if you're in elevation which i am i think around i don't know seven thousand feet or something like that um, it inc increases but anyhow, I'm not here to talk about medicine. You have a primary care physician. I suggest you uh, schedule an appointment for your annual physical and, um, you know, get your exams and all that stuff done. And uh, for all you guys out there, get your, uh, you know, things checked. But anyhow, I did not burn all the wood last night, so I still have about half a pile left. And I'll probably save it maybe for this evening. The plan is to head down to the canyon, try to get some sunset photos and then find a place to bivy again overnight and then head back down to the happy valley of Phoenix. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did get a new license plate for the, uh, the extreme off-road. The XT is what I call my hiker. I call it the XT. Sorry for the shake there, my arm's getting tired. It's still only, uh, I think it's 20, well, it was 28 degrees right now, and I believe it's probably warmer now, now because you can't see my breath anymore. So hopefully, plus there's a breeze. So anyway, uh, shout out to all you folks out there. Shout out to Paul Fish with the uh, former Mountain Gear and the Red Rocks Rendezvous. And, uh, and also to all you guys going to your area this year. I hope, hope of a good time. The ice looks fat. Climb safe. And uh, this is uh, You Know Who signing off. I'll give you a quick pan of what it looks like here this morning.